Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're going to go ahead and get your Celtic Cross reading going for the sign of Taurus. So Taurus, this is a reading from now until the end of the month of March 2023. I already shuffled and spoke with Spirit, so we're just going to jump right into your reading. First card out the gate is... All right, the Page of Cups. So this could be anything from a young one around you. It could be a daughter, son, nephew, even a cousin. So it could be just someone uh, around you, very affectionate, very loving. Uh, you could be spending time with each other. Or this could be an offer of love, a romance, a date. So you could be going on a date this week. And, you know, they just want to chop it up with you and be in good spirits with you and it's all about emotions cups are emotions so this page wants to spend some love and some emotions some time with you okay next card we got is the emperor okay so this is someone very very powerful the most powerful uh card in the deck or as far as people you can't top the emperor. He's the top. And what he says goes. So maybe you embody the emperor or you'll have to embody the emperor this week. We will get more clarity. But this is two different ends of the spectrum. Spectrum. So this is someone very loving. This is someone very powerful and wise. So either you are the emperor or you're going to be around the emperor or you maybe you're going to see an emperor this could be anyone from a dad a grandfather someone of authority uh like a judge but all in all looks like you're gonna be around an emperor or you're the emperor we'll get more clarity as we go okay next card we got is and that's a virgo card the emperor is a virgo card Okay, next card we got is the King of Swords. So, yeah, these are two double uh, Divine Masculine cards. So, this is the King, the Divine Masculine King. And then this is the step above to the Emperor. So, this could be a progression. It could be uh, a promotion. Or maybe this Emperor is very keen in his thoughts and it's about a situation where he has to be clear in his thoughts. So we'll get more clarity. It could be something that has to do with this page. Maybe this Emperor uh, is deciding something serious for this page. Could be anything for like, he's a loving page. Uh, this could be the Emperor or the page's uh, parent. So we'll get more clarity as we go. But I know it's a good reading. I'll tell you what's on the bottom of the deck here shortly. Next card we got here is the lovers. All right, Taurus. So some things are happening for you. New things, it looks like, is coming in. So uh, whether you're in love now or you're looking for love or ready for love, a new love is here for you. Whether you're... Uh, marrying the divine masculine and the divine feminine within yourself and you're falling in love with yourself and giving yourself the love and respect that you deserve or you're finding someone spirit has someone for you this is like serendipity this is like meant to be so if you meet someone uh from now to the end of the month it might just be who you're meant to be with so don't turn your head or your nose up at this one because spirit might be bringing the love of your life right to you okay beautiful All right and so these are some major arcana cards here that you got you got the lovers you got the and you got the the emperor and then your other two cards are the king and the page. King of swords, page of cups. Okay. So we're going to get more clarity. This is a love reading. So we're going to see what this king and this emperor have to do with the love. Next thing we got is temperance. So this is basically a Sagittarius card. So we got Sagittarius, Virgo in here. And you just want to um, marry your divine masculine and divine feminine like we were saying. And that's how you become whole. And that's who this one is. 
I consider the um, emperor a master of both. But I, when I usually see the emperor come out, he's like slamming his fist down and making the final decision. He's not to be argued with. He's not to be messed around or messed about. So this, if he marries his divine masculine and his divine feminine, this would be an awesome, awesome emperor and probably someone amazing to be around. So hopefully that's what... Ooh, hopefully that's what it is with this um, marrying of the two, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, uh, because he he don't play, basically. <laughs> the emperor does not play. And to marry both of these, that's this. So maybe you're going uh, from a page to a king to an emperor. Maybe it's a progression. But it also looks like it could be love of self or a new love interest. Okay. And a new, it could be a young one around you as well. Okay. So next card we got Taurus is ha, 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 the wish card. Nine of cups. Oops, this fell. So hopefully it doesn't mess up the reading. But, oh, we got a prism over here. I don't know if that's going to mess up anything. But I love it. We're going to keep it. So um, this here is the wish card. And it's all about uh, spirit, like blessing. Goodness gracious. It's windy, so it's knocking down my uh, setup. No, 